Live with Cassidy. Happy Tuesday. What's notable about Tuesdays? I mean, there's no football on, no new episode of The Bachelor to watch. Um, apparently, this is now the night of the week where I have to follow through with the punishment you choose for me. So, um, I'm trying not to remember Sunday, but you might remember when the Green Bay Packers knocked the Seahawks out of the playoffs. Yeah, I've tried to forget about it too. But um, yesterday, since I started some football trash talk with my former friend and KGW's resident Packers fan, Brittany Falkers, and lost, you guys got to vote on what I have to do on live TV. All right, Miss Cassidy Quinn, you think trash talking is fun? Well, it's even better when you're a Packers fan. That's right, just count the Super Bowl rings. Well, I do think that you have been such a good sport about this, and because my Packers did beat your Seahawks. It's time for you to suffer the consequences. And I am so, so happy that the viewers out there chose my idea of some stinky, stinky revenge. Limburger cheese might be delicious to a lot of folks out there, but it is so pungent, so stinky, that I think this might just be the best punishment ever. Enjoy. It sounds stinky, but also it's eating cheese. How bad can it be? So Brittany made some phone calls, found a place in Portland that has almost Limburger cheese. It's the cheese bar in Southeast Portland. They have an Austrian version that they say is just as pungent as what Brittany was going for. Uh, so now our photographer, Tom Tuttle, went on a, on a very important mission this afternoon to find this, apparently it's called Bocksteiner cheese, which is the cow that it comes from. Thank you to all the Bocksteiner cows. And again, it's from Austria. So I'm um, going to open this up. Whoa, there's like an interesting coating on this cheese. Oh, that's very stinky. Again, I was going to say I wish we had smell a vision so you guys could smell this at home, but maybe you don't want to. That's definitely stinky. Everyone that I interview the rest of the show will probably think I smell like this. So, um, okay, let's see if it tastes as stinky as it smells. How big of a piece do I cut off? Okay. Oh, in the middle, white, creamy, but it has this like yellow kind of, whatever you call the outside of a cheese. Mm-hmm, here we go. Whoa, strong flavor. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's cheese, how bad could it be? That's actually pretty tasty. While I talk with my mouth full on live TV, I hope my mom is not watching. That's good, I mean, it's like a, like a brie cheese, but you took the flavor and multiplied it by 25 or something. Okay, okay. I'll take your revenge, Brittany, any day if it's me eating cheese. It definitely, the aftertaste I feel like is getting stinkier. It's still, it's good. Thank you to the cheese bar in Southeast Portland for letting us try this. Um, and now I'll have to share it with all of my stinkiest friends. Who should I get revenge on next? Now, I might need something to wash down this cheese with. So right now, we're gonna talk about beer in just a second, but we want you to vote right now at kgw.com vote or open your KGW app.